Do not forget that my registry is still open for housewarming gifts until January the 22nd, which so happens to be my birthday, you guys. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't... You know the vibes. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad. It's, it's Jay. Jay. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes. Where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Today's video, you guys, I wanted to review and make the Petty LaBelle mac and cheese. My very first time trying it. And I also made some crispy fried chicken to go on the side. And some Brussels sprouts that I steamed on the stove. Let's get into this review. Make sure you are subscribed. Like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Let's get it. I know you like that, it's a whole lot of seasoning, but that's what made the chicken so good. So I put this, that, in that to make it spicy, that too, spicy too, and then look what I did. Yeah, I put like three more things, some herbs, shook that bitch up, and then let me show you what it looked like. Yes, ma'am, so seasoned, so good. This is how you make it crunchy, you guys. You gotta have your flour, then you gotta have your egg, but then you also, uh-huh. I'll be making a damn mess when it comes to flour and just frying shit. But I did that a lot more times because I had a lot of chicken. I didn't think I had a lot of chicken. And I really should have done this with some wingettes in these small ass bowls. Because these wings, I ain't gonna say that was huge, but damn, like these were some grown ass women and men that I was cooking that night. So yeah, like I said, I did it a few more times. And FYI. Really, for my information, is what I should have did. I needed some gloves. That stuff started to really clump up in my nails, and it was so nasty. Like, do you see me struggling right now? I'm not really struggling, but I'm just like really trying to push through. And I really have OCD, so that shit was really bothering me. The fact that it was clumping up and making it was stressing me out low key. I ain't gonna cat with you, but. I really should have made this review about the chicken because the chicken was the very best part. Now, the Petit LaBelle mac and cheese, it was I. Right. I expected it to be as cheesy as it had looked like on the box, and it wasn't that. And not only that, I feel like Petit LaBelle put some oil in her mac and cheese. Like, the mac and cheese was very much giving me oil vibes. You know what I mean? So with the chicken being fried in the oil and then Petty LaBelle putting oil in her mac and cheese and not telling nobody she put oil in her mac and cheese. It, the oil probably came from the cheese itself. All that damn cheese that she had. Look at that shit, y'all. Disgusting. But at the end of the day, my grandma can make better mac and cheese than Petty LaBelle. No cap. Look at my breast sprouts. Look at that. Dang on chicken, looking crispier than a motherfucking crisp. I was not trying to cuss like this on this video. But here go the plate. And, um, yeah, grandma can definitely make mac and cheese way better. It wasn't as cheesy as I thought. It very much tasted very cheesy, but it was not cheesing out of my mouth like I thought it was. But that chicken was OMG so freaking good you guys and i just wanted to put this video out because this is some old ass content and i'm clearing out my camera of all old ass content and i'm about to give y'all some new ass content and tonight i'm actually cooking um some wingettes but i'm actually gonna air fry them but still make them crispy i know like putting things in the air fryer is kind of like eh, how do you make it crispy without you know frying that hoe but i'm gonna do that experiment with that a lot of cooking videos will be on this video, guys. Also, some vlogs. I am going to actually vlog tomorrow. 
but probably the day after tomorrow so what day is that today is monday not tuesday but wednesday wednesday i'm gonna be making a recipe that i never ever 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 had ever tried and it's basically gonna be wonton wraps and i'm trying to think if i want to make them vegetarian or do i want to make them ground turkey how about you put in the comment section what the inside of my wonton wait did i just say wonton i meant egg roll shit isn't it all the same material the wrap i went in the store looking for rice paper the girl was like rice paper i'm looking at her like mm. expand your palette of new things nobody in the damn store knew what the fuck i was talking about when i said rice paper and i know i'm not tripping like i know you know rice cakes but they also have rice paper which is thinner than egg roll wraps i'm not tripping about that you guys and they really made me feel like i was on some other shit when i was in the store asking for rice paper but anywho put down in the comment section if i should make veggie egg roll wraps or if i should make a cheesy ground turkey type of can't tell you what else i'm gonna put on the inside until i Put it on the inside put that down in the comment section please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel you guys like this video and yeah put some love feedback also down in the comment section while you're scrolling down do not forget that my registry is still open for housewarming gifts until january the 22nd which so happens to be my birthday you guys and i've already been receiving some gifts but i'm gonna reveal them all in front of you together like we're a family like christmas part two i gotta get the fuck off of here because this 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 be the problem i don't know when to stop it's just overwhelming like i feel like i'm still not really settled in my new home yet i just can't really find a routine yet that i'm comfortable with doing and i'm just i'm done ranting because at this point nah i ain't conceited i'm a different breed it catch you slipping best belief i don't need no reason i'ma cut the ties ho turn your wife to my hoe just focus on you baby girl <laughs> j vibes you know the vibes you know the fuck going on and i'm out this bitch